We've got the broadest line of air conditioners that's offered to the recreational vehicle industry for both North America and globally. And I'd like to show you the, some of the North American units that are especially proud of. This is our Brisk 2. We've just recently redesigned it. I'm going to pull the hood off for the cover, you may say, and show you some of the things we've done that's just very, very unique. A typical air conditioner built, whether it's for residential use or for an RV, is typically a bunch of sheet metal with a condenser, an evaporator, and a pump. What we've done to really modernize and bring this in the new age, with sheet metal you pretty much have square corners. It's difficult to work any other way. Air doesn't like to move well in square corners. We've designed our new unit out of EPP foam. And I'll show you, this is a product that, I mean, it's like what bicycle helmets are made out of, okay? So it's very rigid, it's very solid, uh, it is durable, lightweight, and it gives an insulation capability. What we've done is you can see in some of these areas, we've rounded the corners off, even in the fan area. So while we're not only taking weight out, we've designed it so we can move air with less noise. People want to be able to cool off, an air conditioner is like a water heater. Nobody wants to know you have one. They just want hot water at the tap. We want cool air coming out of the vents. So we've accomplished that. This new unit is 72 pounds. It's 19% uh, lighter than anybody else in the market, and it's more airflow than anybody else in the market. So we're really proud of this. We brought this out a year and a half ago, and this is just absolutely, we've got people coming to us in the aftermarket and saying, I used to have two people that would carry an air conditioner up to install it. Now I have my younger, stronger guys carrying one at a time. They love it. Absolutely love it. So the market has very much embraced this product. And from this product, we've taken that same concept of uh, design and engineering into our Penguin product line, which is low profile, but we have the same technology designed into our low profile unit. And if you ask me, okay, why a low profile and why a whole high profile? And many of the RVs that we build, whether it be a Class B, where some of them are even garageable, in a 10-foot high garage, the low profile is very, very valuable. And then also on fifth wheels, where you've got the higher and the lower, they'll put a higher profile in the one rear end, and then in the high front end, they'll put the low profile, because it kind of synergizes and balances the coach out. Now from that, our next air conditioner, and that's why I say we have a very full line, this is our HP unit, and HP means high performance. This is the highest performing air conditioner in the industry. This is typically used in those applications where we call it ducted return, which is just like you have at home. Instead of seeing the air return up above in the ceiling that we're so used to seeing in all air conditioners, the customer ducks it to the side and you close off that window into the motor and the pump and all the noise that resonates from a typical air conditioner. Great product. This product has not undergone that evolution but by mid next year, this product will also be designed and operate with the EPP foam, the silence, it'll be a better product than it is in the day. Lastly, this is our Cool Cat. This is a product that we've had around for 25 years and it has a unique market, it's kind of the niche market, in those small little travel trailers, some of them with rounded roofs, some of them that are too small to put something on top, they will design this in under the bed or under the dinette table, and it gives them the ability to have air conditioning and heat, because we only manufacture it in a heat pump model.